Here, look down at ace, eight, seven, four, double suited in middle position. There are a couple limpers to me. I limp over to the button who makes it 20. Two callers to me and I call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop well, comes ace, king, nine with two clubs. When it checks to me, I check over to the button who also checks. So we're still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings in the front door flush with a queen of clubs. When it checks to me, I check over to the button who bets 60. Folds to me and don't really have a great hand here, but I don't really believe the button either. So I make the call and we're going heads up to a river. River brings a four of hearts. I check over to my opponent who only has about 125 left and he's counting out some chips and he bets 100 back to me. The main thing I just kept going back to is this player raised on the button. If he flopped a strong flush draw on the flop, you know, which is the only things that beat me now, why would he check back the flop? Um, unless he like has some kind of top set with the king high flush draw on the flop where he pretty much didn't care what came on the turn. Um, I just don't think he really has it. So I make the call. My opponent says flush, which probably is not going to be great news for me, but he turns over 6652 with the 65 of clubs. So we're going to take it down here. Here, look down at ace ace 10 6, single suited in the cutoff in a straddled pot. There are two limpers to me. I make it 60 and we get four callers. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes 10 5 2 rainbow. When it checks to me, seems like a pretty safe board to pot. Um, I mean, especially with the pair blocker, you know, you don't really figure fives and twos to be in people's range. So I bet 300 over to one of the early position players who only has 350. So he puts it all in the middle over to one of the early position players who calls for less. So we're going three ways to a run out. Turn brings a five of diamonds, bring in the backdoor flush draw for us. River does give us the flush and the three of diamonds. The early position player turns over his hand. He has ace, queen, 10, seven with the queen, 10 of diamonds. And you don't see it on the screen, but the short stack player turned over king, king, six, five. So he turned trips and we got him on the river. So we're taking it down. Here, look down at king, queen, jack, jack, double suit in middle position. When it folds to me, I open a 20 and we get three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes jack, three, two with two hearts. When it checks to me, I bet 55. Over to the late position player who makes the call. Now over to the small blind who decides to make it 300 over to me. Pretty easy decision for me. I jam and the other opponent thinks a bit and folds. So we're going heads up to a run out. Turn brings a six of spades, which obviously brings in five, four, but you know, not the worst card. River brings king of spades and I turn over my hand and my opponent looks a bit and eventually mucks. So we're taking it down. Here I look down at ace, ace, jack, four, single suited in a straddled pot in the hijack. One limper to me, I make it 50 and we get three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes jack three, two rainbow. Checks to me and no point of messing around here. So I bet 200 and all my opponents fault. So we take it down. We look down at queen jack 10, six, single suited on the button. There are three limpers to me. I decide to limp. It's not really a great hand, but really just kind of playing my button here and both the blinds check. So we're going six ways to a flop. Flop comes king six, four rainbow. Checks to me and I decide to check back. So still going six ways to a turn. Turn brings another six. The big blind in this hand is actually the same opponent who I called the bluff with earlier with the eight high flush. He bets 30, folds to me and I make the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a three. My opponent bets 30 again. And although it feels pretty value-y, I think I have to call for this price. So that's what I do. My opponent turns over his hand. He has eight, six, five, five. So... We got him out kicked and we're taking it down. Here look down at Jack 10, eight two, single suited in the big blind in his straddle pot. There's one late position limper, small blind completes. And I decided to complete, not really a great hand, but for five more, you know, I just go with it. And the straddler checks. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, Jack nine, rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 20 and all three of my opponents call. So we're still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings a six when it checks to me. Um, you know, I believe that if I was beat on the flop here, I would have got raised. So I bet 80 and all my opponents fault. So we take it down. Here look down at king, king, eight, six, single suited under the gun. I limp, next player to act makes it 20. There are three callers to me and I call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes eight, six, two with two spades. Checks to me, I bet 55. There's one caller. The next player to act only has 120. They put it all in the middle. Back to early position player in the small blind. He calls back to me. I strongly considered re-popping it here, trying to isolate the short stack, but decided to just call and the other person folded. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a five. My opponent checks and I considered betting, but I checked back. So still going three ways to a river. 
River brings an ace of hearts, my opponent checks, and I check back. My opponent turns over ace king 9 2 with the nut flush draw. So he rivered a better two pair, and the short stack all in player mucked as well. So he's going to take it down. Here, look down at king queen 10 9, single suited in early position in a straddled pot. I limp. There are five other limpers, and the straddler checks. So we're going seven ways to a flop. Flop comes queen 10 5 rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 60, and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a two of diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. When it checks to me, I bet 200, and both my opponents fold. So we take it down. Here, look down at ace 10 9 2, double suited in the middle position. Under the gun opens to 20. Player to my right calls, I call, and there's one late position caller. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes Jack A3 Rainbow. The original Razor bets 50. Play to my right folds. I make the call, and late position player calls all in for less. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a 10. My opponent checks. I check back. River brings a queen. My opponent checks, and I decide to check back. I say straight, turn over my hand, and my opponent turns over pocket jacks, and the short stack mucks. So we're taking it down. Here, look down at King, King, Queen, 8, single suited on the button. There are two limpers to me. I limp, small blind makes it 25, three callers to me and I call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes king nine five rainbow, small blind bets 100, folds over to me, I think for a bit and make it 400 and my opponent quickly calls. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a jack, so pretty awful card and my opponent counting out his chips and he has a little bit over 600 and he puts it all in the middle over to me. Pretty gross spot. Um, you know, I tank for about a minute and a half. I actually tell him that I wish he had a full pot size bet. Would have made it, you know, a lot worse price for me and I could have folded. But essentially having to call about 600 into this pot basically means, you know, the 2100 that the pot will be after I call. I'm getting about three and a half to one on my money, which is probably what I am as an underdog here. So essentially just getting about the right price, even though I don't love it. I make the call and we're going heads up to a river. If there's anyone that would have folded this hand out there, uh, let me know why down in the comments below. River brings a seven, so no help to us. And just as I expected, my opponent turns over queen, queen, jack, 10. So he flopped the wrap, turned the straight, and he's gonna take it down. I was planning on playing a little while longer, but you know, since I had lost that big pot and I had already played about five and a half hours, I just decided to rack up. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 600, out for 1380, so profit of 780. If you haven't already done so, check out my previous video where I play at Borgata and book my best hourly ever. You'll find it up here, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.